Now I'm and now back to the lovely styrenes. I have a house, an old grey house, built in the sand of a lake near the beach, and although the outside is beaten weather, the inside is nice with light, pillows a lot of color. I can hear another red shoot about, and low tables and windows facing out of the lake that goes from the floor to the ceiling. And Joey and Paul are there too, and the three of us, we sit around. For a while, and then the phone rings. It is an old black phone near the Sea World window. Hello, I say, and hear the other party hang up. But for some reason, I say hello again. Paul begins talking in his sleep, mumbling first and then out loud with laughter, while the gray forbidden clouds begin to gather offshore. Paul begins grabbing my outstretched leg, he's pulling it close to him. The way some people do a pillow. I clasped my hand to his shoulders and I roused him. I'm still troubled by the call. He looks up embarrassed and I smile absently. And the phone rings again. And this time, there is a pause. And then a muffled and distant voice begins speaking unintelligibly. Thinking about it now, it could have been in a foreign language. I can't tell for sure whether the voice was that of a man or a woman, but I could sense that it was a desperate voice. That it was either begging me for help, or it was warning me of danger. Paul and I were on our feet now, and after I told him of the call, he went outside to a beach where Joey was sitting with a woman who seemed much too old for him. There were many others scattered about in the sand, and they were watching with anticipation. A line of clouds that hung like a curtain about a hundred yards out to the lake and it stretched as far as you could see in either direction. Before too long, we saw several water spouts forming in the mist. There were three of them. And then suddenly, one broke away from whatever it held it there and it began swirling toward the shoreline and us. We watched its approach with something like glee and we laughed hysterically as a visibly turbulent air smacked specter light into the White House behind us, tearing off a section of the rain gutter from the edge of the roofing. I woke up laughing. I heard someone coming downstairs, so I went to investigate. It was Joey. Did you just get all my ass? He nodded. It was seven in the morning, so now neither of them was going to work that day. Joey put on some coffee. I just had the weirdest dream, I said. So I told him the dream. 